FixEasy.com bringing you another repair video today. Looks like we're going to be working on an Apple iPad 4. Today's video, we're going to show you the steps necessary to remove and replace your iPad's headphone jack assembly. Before we get started with our disassemble, let's review our suggested tools. Plastic triangle opening tools. Metal opening tool. Small Phillips screwdriver. Plastic opening tools. A spudger. Fine tipped curved tweezers. A heat gun or a blow dryer. Let's go ahead and start the disassemble on our iPad 4 by first peeling back our touch screen so that we can access all the internal components for replacement. We are going to start off first with our heat gun or blow dryer and heat up the outside perimeter of our touch screen to soften up the adhesive so that we can separate the touch screen from the base of our iPad. One to two minutes of the heat should suffice. Let's grab our plastic opening tool to begin our entry into the iPad. We are going to work at the touch screen edge where it meets the bezel of the iPad to begin our separation. Once the plastic opening tool begins to separate that touch screen slightly, we want to work ourselves around the iPad, trying to open up that separation around the entire perimeter. With one side of that touch screen completely separated, we like to use a triangle opening tool in the separation so that the adhesive doesn't come back in contact with itself. As you continue working at that touch screen into the next side, again with that separation made, let's use another triangle opening tool to keep that gap open. While working on the touch screen, let's be mindful of the ribbon cable that's about two inches from the bottom on the left hand side of the unit. Let's be careful around this area so that we don't cause any irreversible damage. Again, continuing all the way around the unit until we've got separation on all four sides, leaving triangle opening tools in the gap to help keep the separation. When you're completed with the separation, we can now peel back that front touch screen almost like a book and being mindful of the ribbon cable that's still connected. Let's now work towards removing the LCD. You're going to notice held down by four Phillips screws, one in each corner. Let's go ahead and remove those screws. With our four screws removed, let's lift the LCD up and out and gently rest it onto the touch screen. Revealing our ribbon cable that has a locking socket into the motherboard. We want to lift the lever on that socket, releasing the cable so that we can remove it from the motherboard. and now completely remove the LCD from the iPad. Our touch screen is going to have similar locking sockets for removal, releasing two levers for the actual touch screen ribbon cable, and then the smaller locking socket for the ribbon cable for the home button assembly down towards the bottom. Let's release both of these locks, and we can remove the touch screen completely from the iPad as well. Now we're going to show you the steps necessary to go ahead and remove your headphone jack assembly for replacement. Starting first with our front facing camera, there's a black piece of tape covering its connection. With the tape removed, we can gently pry up on its connector. and remove the camera from the small amount of adhesive that's securing it down. 
The assembly's connection into the motherboard is secured by two locking sockets. There's a black piece of tape securing this connection. Let's go ahead and peel that up. Unlock our socket tabs. and release our connection from the motherboard. Let's use our Phillips screwdriver to remove some of the securing screws, starting with the two at the headphone jack and working ourselves down to the next two in the ribbon cable assembly. Here we are with some more black tape. Let's go ahead and peel that up. We have a small locking socket at the microphone connection. Let's release that tab and fold back our ribbon wire for our microphone. A similar small locking connection over by our rear facing camera. Again with the lock and fold back the ribbon wire for that piece. The last piece of black tape that needs to be removed on top of the rear facing camera. And then again with our Phillips screwdriver to remove the two screws on the rear facing camera itself. And then remove our final three Phillips screws one down by the rear facing camera and two in the middle of the assembly. With our connections removed as well as our screws, we can now lift the assembly out of the iPad. All of the parts and tools you've seen today in this video are available at www.fixeasy.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook, and follow us on Twitter.